Hi, good afternoon to one and all present here. Uh, this is Ambassador Master and Professor SNS College of Technology. I hope everyone uh, coming for this session. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the introduction to robotics. Uh, everybody knows the emerging technologies is robotics and automation now. So as far as concerns, robotics uh, is an important core topic in mechatronics engineering, as well as everyone has to know what is automation process and what is uh, uh, how the robotics has been involved in emerging technologies and how it has been, plays an impact role in uh, industry sectors. Um, this is how they can play a vital role. So, uh, based on these conditions and strategies, uh, we have followed up uh, several mechanisms and uh, we have used various strategies and uh, developed various outcomes, surfaces, uh, everything depends upon the requirement of uh, human such as uh, Now, we are going to discuss about uh, the basic introductions of robotics where um, the robot is plays a vital role and how it uh, plays a uh, place in uh, industrial sectors and what are the basics what are the history and how it has been developed uh, these are the things we are going to discuss about the future plan in this presentation now um, so it is one of the subject we are handling in uh, mechatronics engineering uh, as a part of an open activa so i like to share the presentation before enter into the topic uh, everybody has uh, hopes uh, everybody has a clear vision right um so as I said, like, um, so this is an introduction to robotic subject. Um, so where we, we were supposed to dis discuss the uh, various topics, like um, how uh, the introduction, history, components of robots, everything we are going to discuss here. So as I said that uh, normally what uh, we are, before going to, I'd like to share what is meant by robotics. If we, if everybody can answer, right? Um, this is about DDS session. Um, so before entering the subject, I like to show something about a DD based structure like that. So what we, we are going to thought is going to discuss in this presentation. So normally everybody knows the robot, right? The robot is nothing but an uh, terminator. We are the most, uh, most of the persons are in fans of Arnold right now. So this is a uh, robot. Uh, we can say we're using the film Terminators. So uh, there's a lot of series in the film, but uh, just the information is okay. similarly. This is an eye robot and another one is a wall robot. These are the robots we seen in Hollywood industries. So as far as Tamilians, uh, like uh, we, we came able to know that um, the robot by through the Indian is a superstar raging on the spread of two roles uh, as a robot in uh, two films, right? Indian and 2.0. This is the robot we can able to see right now. So th this is what I am saying that uh, the robots it's not only based on these structures, uh, the robots have a variety of structures and variety of opportunities, and they are used in variety of places, right? Um, the first one is a robot uh, based on classifications, as I'm going to discuss. So as I said, that there is a lot of varieties and a lot of things uh, where they have been developed and where they are articulated, uh, various type of robots. Um, so the various type of robots are classification based on their categories. Uh, the first and foremost is stationary robots which is not tend to move from one place to one. So these type of robots are classified into in six categories. One is a Cartesian robots, another one is cylindrical robots, uh, Cartesian movement linear motion, and a cylindrical motion, ro one rotary and another uh, two motions are linear. Third one is spherical, and fourth one is cara, and fifth one is uh, articulated, and finally is parallel robots. This is the advanced version of the robots. Similarly, based on wheel, we can able to classify it into single wheel, two wheel, three wheel, four wheel, six wheel, and with the help of multiple wheels, it can be separate track robots. Um, so sometimes we can use by representing the leg uh, in Tamil, we can say what the color like that. We can say this based on leg robot, there is a one leg robot, bipedal robot, and tripedal robot. And sometimes it, uh, we can see in the film as four, four or five, you know, five legs are for using in robots. Uh, so that is quadrilateral and exoparental. And sometimes that is a large number of huge number of uh, legs is there. So that to be mentioned as uh, many legs robots. Um, so apart from that, the various robots were used in is uh, swimming robots, um, flying robots, robot is balls, swarm robots, modeler robots, uh, and micro such as and nano such robots are nowadays and most popular in the industries. Uh, and also used for a very variety of purposes. Uh, apart from the soft robots is there, snake robots is there, crawler robots is there, and hybrid robots is there. So this is how uh, the robots has been evolved from one single stage to multiple stages. 
So based on these conditions, I have said that the robots are classified based on different categories and the robots are nowadays used in industrial sectors based on their conditions and based on their requirements. They have used success in an environment where um, these robots are uh, taken into consideration for several purposes and several organization structures. Uh. So this is something about basic introduction to robotics. In the next class, we are going to discuss about the entire structure of the robotics. We have watched video 13 and open alternative. Till that, bye-bye. Thank you.